your weather authority. Check things out on our Bob Friend of Ford World Weather Cam to start out this morning. We do have a uh, flag moving a little bit, a bit of a breeze out there, dry conditions for right now. Uh, in fact, skies are partly cloudy. Moon trying to uh, peek out through those clouds at times. Uh, but we are tracking some uh, showery periods right now, going mainly through Ohio. Uh, but these will uh, be skirting into northwestern Pennsylvania as well over the next hour or two. And uh, look for maybe a couple of downpours with some of these. Uh, but I don't expect any serious problems with them for the morning. But you may want to have a raincoat for the kids just in case uh, they get hit by some of that rain and maybe even a rumble of thunder. Overall, a uh, wide range of temperatures here, mild for most of you, uh, 60s though, but uh, a lot of 50s uh, on the inland side uh, as we head on into the afternoon. There is a chance of showers and storms. Uh, hopefully they won't start until after the kids get home, but it'll be kind of a close call there, so be ready for it. And uh, temperatures, if it's raining, upper 70s. If not, you got lower to mid 80s. It is a warm and humid one for today. Uh, if the rain doesn't fall this morning, maybe you can get some outdoor recess in today. Right now, 55 in Cory, 58 at the borough. Out toward Cranesville, Dave has 61, 65 for Keith and McCain, as well as downtown Erie. <clears throat> Farther inland, George Canada Lake, 57. Ed's got 63 in Westmead. A uh, few stars in 58 out towards Sagertown. Connett Lake and Linesville both at 61. So we have some of those showers this morning. And that will kind of determine how things go in the afternoon to some extent. If uh, the showers can hang until mid, maybe late morning, it will cut the sunshine and cut the instability. But we still expect a good cold front to move through during the afternoon. And uh, when it does, probably late afternoon, sometime between 4 and 6 uh, or 4 and 7, we can get some pretty good storms through the area. So something that uh, you want to be ready for later on today. Uh, after that, though, fall begins tomorrow, not until 9.03 at night, uh, but we will have fall-like weather. A brisk northwesterly flow, uh, that typical lake effect October-like weather uh, with those uh, on and off showers and maybe even a rumble of thunder. You may want to watch for water spots on the lake. And uh, looking at the tropics, <clears throat> new wave is uh, forming already that uh, could turn into an intense storm and this one uh, later on this weekend perhaps early next week may make uh, a move toward the United States we'll see way too early for anything obviously it looks more like a Gulf Coast hit but that's something that we will be watching speaking of watching watch for those storms if you have any reason to be on the lake it'll be choppy as well one to three foot waves this morning two to four for the afternoon water temperature at 72. so some showers around and some rumbles of thunder this morning then partly sunny scattered showers and storms develop again in the afternoon highs in the lower to mid 80s some could be on the strong side Fall arrives, very fall-like, low 60s tomorrow, some showery periods and brisk winds. Still chilly on Friday, but we'll keep it dry uh, for the wine fest that's coming up uh, this Friday. And uh, for the weekend, a little more moderate temperatures, so we'll probably have to dodge some rain on Sunday.